morning guys, happy Monday, welcome to another studio vlog. If you're new to this channel, my name is Meg and I'm the owner of Fizz and Flourish, an illustration business in Scotland and I've had the best weekend. I took part in an online market from e Harvey Art. You can find her link below. I went live on Instagram for the first time ever, which I was so scared about, but I did it. And I found some amazing creators, some real hidden gems, and it was just the best weekend full of community and support and everyone sharing everyone and yeah it was just fantastic and I hope everyone's market went really well and they got some sales and this is my market stall it's not quite as pretty as I would have a market stall in real life like a real market and it seems a bit strange for me to set up a market stall when there's no one here to browse but to be honest, it's just fun, so why not? And you get a chance to see all your products together on the table and you get to take cute photos and share them. So yeah, it was a really great weekend. And in other news, the internet is down. Possibly the worst day for the internet to go down. I have so many orders to get through. I really hope I've got enough internet left on my phone to hotspot and get through the orders today. So I'm probably not gonna chat to the camera that much. And on that note, there haven't been as many studio vlogs recently because I've been so busy working behind the scenes on my upcoming Patreon. So I've started to release the information about the rewards and the sorts of things that I'm gonna be offering over on Instagram and yeah, I'm terrified but excited that I'm launching April 2nd, 2021. So I'll share a little bit more about that later on in the vlog, but basically I've just been on my laptop so I haven't really had much to film and I'm getting back to it this week so I've got a lot to do. And one more thing before we get into the working week, sorry I'm rambling. A company called BenQ reached out to me and asked if they could gift me one of their Genie e-reading lamps and I did a bit of research on the company and the product and I said yes because it sounds perfect for what I do and people like you guys in business what we do staring at screens all the time so I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of this light and I'm so excited to see what's included and how well it works and this video hasn't been sponsored by BenQ but it has been gifted to me and they want me to give an honest review about the product so I'm gonna share with you my real thoughts and give you an unboxing about what's included and see if it's something that you could use in your business. Okay, let's get into the working week. I'm gonna clear the market and do an unboxing. So this comes in four different colours, I've got the silver one and I'll leave the link in the bio where you can find your own one and yeah I'm gonna get unboxing. Well it feels very solid so... <laughs> You don't have to worry about it being damaged. Ooh. Okay, let's see what you get inside. Ooh, the base is heavy. You know, I actually really love the minimalist look. Um, I don't know if you can tell by my desk, but that's kind of what I'm going for. And this is definitely something that I'll have on my desk because its main purpose is for having it over laptops and stuff so so that you're not straining your eyes so much and ooh okay this is adjustable 
I think the look of the light is gonna go really well with the like aesthetic of my desk. I really like the minimalist look on my desk because when you look over here, it's not so minimalist. <laughs> so I like keeping this space nice and tidy. Okay, let's see what else you get. It's definitely so this is the part that you can get in different colors. I quite like the silver. Ooh. It's like shiny but also matte. <laughs> okay, it looks pretty simple. So I'm gonna put it together. Okay, so this is pretty handy. You get the different plugs. So you can literally order this anywhere in the world and not have to worry about getting the right plug. So I'm gonna pop this one in. So this just clicks in. Okay, it's got a super long cord, which is perfect. The lamp I've got right now is such a short lead that I have to plug it into an extension lead. So this is a very good thing. Like this this is really cool you just press the cord in and it's super neat okay so it says to turn on and off just tap the little ring <laughs> this is so fancy um, rotate the knob to adjust the brightness so you've got book reading mode which to get that you touch the metal ring for two seconds Oh my goodness, it's like, um, it's like natural light. It's not harsh light. Oh, okay, so there's a little light here. When it's orange, it's book reading mode, which is now what it is. And then if I hold the thing for two seconds again, it goes green, which is screen mode. And again, it's like, it's not a harsh light, but it still illuminates this area. Oh my goodness, this is so fancy. And then you can change the brightness. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, this is the world's fanciest light. I am in love with it. In auto dimming mode, the lamp automatically provides optimal brightness according to the ambient lighting conditions and adjusts the color temperature depending on book reading mode or screen reading mode. Like, it knows your surroundings. That's insane. And it says that the, the the curved part should be in line with your eye level. And to do that, you can just, you can tilt this. And then the actual light itself is on like a, a tilt. Thank you so, so much, BenQ, for sending me this. I get so strained with my eyes. Like, I don't need to wear glasses, but I had to get those blue tinted glasses because uh, I was staring at the screen so much and it was giving me headaches. But honestly, I hate wearing glasses. I don't wear them and my eyes are suffering from it. So I think this is gonna be a real game changer. So if you're a reader or an e-reader, it does both. It does books and lighting for screens. I'm well impressed. How exciting. Thank you so, so much, thank you. I am in love. You can find all the links below to the one that I have. And yeah, go have a look. It just looks amazing.
this pretty cheap guillotine when I since I started this business. Um, I think it was about ten pound, and it just makes such a mess. I've had to kind of keep cloths here because I think it just sheds black paint, and as soon as you get this on anything, it goes everywhere. So I decided it was time to invest in a better guillotine. So I'm going to clear this up and show you the new one. So here is my new fancy guillotine. I feel very professional. If I'm honest, I mainly was drawn to this one because I thought this was mustard yellow in the photo, but it's wood. It's still really nice, but I was definitely drawn to the mustard yellow, and it's not. But it looks pretty solid. It was about £45 from Amazon, I think. I'll leave the link below. And it's got a safety latch, which is pretty good because I once sliced my thumbnail off. And it's like titanium metal. It's quite hard to do with one hand, hang on. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't go any higher than this. Um, so I don't know if that's a problem. And I also don't like this plastic guard. I know it's for safety and it says do not remove plastic guard, but I just tried cutting something and I couldn't see, like I couldn't see where the line was. It was really hard to tell. Um, so I might take it off and break the rules. laying out your orders and slowly filling the desk but I've run out of thank you cards I did not see this coming I thought I had loads because when I ordered them it felt like loads but I haven't so I'm gonna give out these postcards that I've got I got them from the V&A um, and they've got I mean I'm running out of these as well um, because I used these last time I ran out of thank you cards I need to get more organized and yeah so if you get one of these in the post, it's because I've run out of thank you cards, I'm sorry. <laughs> but they're really pretty, like some really cool designs. So hopefully you can still use them as an art print. And yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Still got lots to do. Okay, I finished laying out your orders. Seeing them laid out is just, I can't even put it into words. The amount of support is just crazy. Um, it's very different seeing it on the screen. It's always exciting seeing it on the screen and seeing orders ping in, but when you actually physically lay them out and see all the stuff that people have ordered. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna get emotional. <laughs> it just means so much. And I had a really great sales week last weekend as well for my birthday. And I just wanted to kind of chat to you about it for a second before I head home because I'm absolutely pooped. I'm showing you this highlight, but in these vlogs I've also shown you the downsides of business and I really don't want you to get the impression that I get orders like this all the time because it's definitely not true. It's so easy for vloggers and people on Instagram to just show the highlights because that's when you're most excited and happy and you don't want to show people the days where you get no orders but it's just important to remember that although there are days like this and weekends like this where you get amazing orders that's also balanced out with days or weeks with no orders so I'm just making that point because I don't want anyone to get discouraged um, by seeing this sort of thing uh, when I started watching vlogs and started getting into this business 
I found it really inspiring seeing um, other creators getting sales like this and it it really lit a fire in me to do it myself. So I'm really hoping that's what people are taking away from this. I really hope they see it as an inspiration rather than to make themselves feel bad because I really, really don't want that. And that's not the goal that I'm setting out on by showing you these orders. So I just wanted to make that clear. And if you're struggling with sales, please don't take this as a thing that happens all the time because it definitely doesn't. I've talked about this in previous vlogs where I've had no sales and yeah, it's just one of those things you can have a great weekend or you can have a rubbish weekend. So there are ups and downs. We just got to keep working hard to reach these kind of sales because yeah, this doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> Anyway, on that note, I am absolutely shattered. I really wanted to get these all packaged today, but I've just been so busy laying out all the orders. So I'm gonna come into the studio tomorrow to finish packaging and I'm calling it a night. So me and Baby Bump, who is currently kicking me in the ribs, are gonna call it a night. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, bye. guys happy Thursday uh, I think the last time I spoke to the camera was Monday uh, but I did set up the GoPro which is something a little bit different you kind of get to see the whole studio because it's a wider angle and really I just needed to get on and package those orders so I just set up the GoPro and got working on it I didn't do any nice camera angles that I normally do but I just didn't have time. I reached a new record in my shop. Um, I think I filmed the orders laid out. More orders came in after that and it's been a bit of a crazy week. And now I need to start concentrating on Patreon. So I've released my tiers on Instagram. I think I might have mentioned that already. And I've updated my website so you can find out what's to come. But I think by the time this vlog is out, I'm maybe like, two days away from launching. So I'm launching April 2nd. I was gonna launch on April 1st, that seems to make sense, but that's April Fool's Day and I feel like I don't wanna launch something on April Fool's Day. So it's editing Meg here. I'm currently in bed editing my vlog and there's been a bit of an update with Patreon. Unfortunately, the page is under review and I did not realize that. I thought when you clicked publish, it meant publish, but it doesn't, so there's been a delay. Anyway. Hopefully it will be released soon and let's get back to the vlog. Although I have released my tears on Instagram, I think I am going to make a few teeny tiny tweaks uh, just because I thought I'd figured it out but I'm still, I'm still changing my mind and yeah, I really hope that people like it. One of the main things I'm thinking of changing is in my second tier, for six dollars a month which is about four pound thirty i think yeah so for six dollars a month four pound thirty i was gonna do a draw with me zoom call and where we can you know everyone can create art together and i really still really really want to do that but what if only one person joins or like one person joins that tier and it's just me and them i mean would that be okay I just, I worry that they'd feel uncomfortable when they're not surrounded by more people. So what I'm thinking of doing is doing a live stream instead. So people can uh, type their messages and questions rather than having to show their face. And then if by some miracle, I build up enough patrons that I feel like a Zoom call, maybe there's five of us or 10, then, then I can justify doing a Zoom call. And I just don't want anyone to feel like they have to, they come on and they have to stay or they have to talk because there's only a couple of them. Um, I know a lot of people don't feel comfortable talking on Zoom calls. So I think I'm gonna change that slightly. Uh, I'm gonna add um, stories for my close friends. I didn't realize you could even do this on Instagram, but you can 
you can have uh, stories just for certain people so I thought I would add those people to that so they can get a bit more content on Instagram as well as the other um, rewards. I kind of want to talk to you about it but I don't want to bore you <laughs> with rewards and stuff. Basically to sum up my Patreon I want it to be a place where you can learn to draw through tutorials, videos, time lapses, things like that but also how to grow a business and grow a YouTube channel, editing tips, because YouTube seems to have really worked for my business and I'd love to share hints and tips on why I think my channel is growing, uh, all those kind of businessy things about running an illustration business or any handmade business, as well as the illustration stuff, so that it kind of tailors to two audiences. Um, I'm sure it will change as, you know, it evolves, but at the moment, in my head, that's what I'm envisioning. And I'm envisioning a beautiful community of people where we can all support each other, share each other's work. I want to do art challenges. And yeah, it was like character designs. I want to do design briefs. And I've just got so many ideas. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. And other than that, I've been rambling. I need to get on with the working day. I have got so much to stock up on. I've run out of loads of stickers, badges. I really need to make some more notebooks and also order some more daily planners because I've only got I've only got six left. So I really need to order some more of those. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a mixed day today. Right, let's get into the working day. Tuesday today I started filming this vlog last week and I kind of like spreading it out over two weeks because there's less pressure to uh, film stuff in the space of a couple of days get it edited and out by Friday and as I'm in my third trimester I'm trying to wind down just a little bit especially because Patreon is launching this week <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm also so nervous, and I need to get cracking on with my first podcast, so I'm gonna record that today. And then I'm off to buy a pram. Oh, a little pram. Let me show you baby bump. He is so big. Yeah, I'm not actually sleeping that well, so I'm trying to take it easy and not put too much pressure on myself. I don't want to stress myself out before the baby arrives. I feel like up until now, when I've been planning this uh, business with the pregnancy, I've only been thinking about when the baby arrives. Like I feel like I'm preparing for that, but I haven't prepared for the last few months before the baby arrives because I kind of thought I would just work, 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 work right up until I gave birth. But realistically, I should wind down a little bit and yeah not put too much stress onto myself. And my goodies from the eHearts market have arrived. There's still a few things I'm waiting for from overseas. I ordered some things from America, um, but let me show you what I've got. I mean, I definitely have an earring obsession. You can probably tell, but I'm okay with it. I mean, look at these. So this is by Dusty Rose Creates and she's just opened her shop. She launched at the market. So go send her some love. This is where you can find her. I'll leave all the links below as well. And then we've got Danny Doodles. So this is where you can find her. And I bought a beautiful art print and some stickers. And look at this. How cute is her illustration style? and I bought a load of character stickers as well. Then I could not resist 
these. Some gardening stickers, which is quite appropriate because I've been gardening this weekend. But look at this style and you get so many stickers on this page and the quality is lovely. I think she uses the same uh, premium paper that I use and I just love the texture of it and yeah, it's it's such high quality. And then some large vinyl stickers. Your adventure awaits. I absolutely love this. It's really big and I need to decide where it's going. So this is where you can find her. Her style is so cute. And I got some more earrings. How cute are these? And this is from Lala's Accessories. This amazing cat clay brooch. I I saw it and straight away I was like, this is going on my dungarees. And she is Fluffy Cat Studio, which you can find if you search that in Instagram, you'll find her there. So definitely go take a look at these makers. I'll leave all their links below. And yeah, I've got some more goodies arriving from America. So I'll show you those when they arrive. I love them. <gasps> I mean, it's like 60s vibe. How cute are these? <laughs> I love buying from small businesses. It just is so much more special. And yeah, I couldn't be happier. They're really beautiful. Okay, let's get recording my podcast. So I just finished recording my very first podcast and it was really fun to record. I just chatted away for 20 minutes and talked about what I want from this Patreon and stuff like that. So each week is gonna have a new theme and discuss something business related. But for the first one, I just wanted it to be a sort of introduction to Patreon and to my new page. So I think on that note, I'm gonna end the studio vlog here. I think it's been quite a chatty one. There's definitely been a lot going on this week and yeah, I'm gonna get editing it so that I can actually get it uploaded. Baby is really kicking and he's kicking in my ribs, so I'm gonna go. I shall see you next time for another studio vlog. Okay, bye.